Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ here with a tip of the day. Now the performance pads are located in each deck of Virtual DJ and house many of the basic and advanced deck controls all in one easy to use 2x4 grid pattern. The three main sections of the performance pad are the page select menu where you can select what page of controls the pads will use, the parameters area which will show different controls depending on the current selected page, the options menu which will again show different options of the currently selected page, and finally the trigger pads themselves. The default page is the hot cue pads. This will display and store any hot cues for the track. Clicking the pad will set the cue point if no cue point is stored or will trigger the cue if it already exists. Right clicking a pad will delete the hot cue. The cue loop page of pads will cause the track to jump to or create a hot cue and loop for the beat count that's set in the parameters area. You can also set the options of this page to auto sync to the beat grid and only loop while the pad is pressed. The slicer page allows the current bar to be sliced into 8 segments per the beat count set in the parameters area. Clicking a pad will trigger that slice count. Right clicking a slice count will allow the slicer to hold and trigger that specific segment even after the bar has finished. The sampler page allows for direct access to the first 8 samples loaded in the sampler. Clicking a pad will trigger the sample. You can use the parameter controls to switch banks. The Beat Jump page provides the ability to jump forward or backwards by a specified number of beats displayed on the pad. The Loop page provides the ability to instantly set a loop by the specified number of beats displayed on the pad. The Loop Roll page allows you to loop the track by the specified number of beats displayed while the pad is held. Releasing the pad will cause the playback to continue at the point in time as if you never triggered the effect. The Save Loop page will allow you to trigger loops that you've saved in the slots with the Loop Record or POI Editor. To save a loop, first create one with the loop controls, then click on a pad to save the loop in that slot. Clicking the slot will cause the track to jump to the save loop if it's located before that point in the track, or if it's located later, will loop when the track reaches that position. The Manual Loop page provides all loop controls on the pads, such as in-out points, half or doubling the loop, and most other commonly used controls. The Remix Points page allows you to jump instantly to points in the track that have been automatically marked by Virtual DJ or manually set as Remix Points in the POI Editor. You can also open the POI Editor and fine-tune your Remix Points by clicking on the Pad Menu button. As shown here, you can see Virtual DJ has intelligently detected some of the track's break, start, and end points and has marked them here for me to use. Once you are back in the Pad section, remember clicking on a pad will jump instantly to that Remix Point. If you click on an empty pad, it will create a new Remix Point. Point. And finally, the custom page of pads allows you to create your own set of personalized controls that might not be covered in the other pages. To edit a pad, simply right-click on the pad to enter the pad editor. Here, you can use Virtual DJ Script to create your own controls. You can also click on the link to the pad page download area, where pages of custom pads submitted by the community can be downloaded and installed. As you can see, the performance pads are an amazing feature, and we've only scratched the surface of possibilities in this video. We encourage you to dive in, play around, and get familiar. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. Till the next one, remember, save your ears, keep your headphones at moderate level.